Hello, and welcome to the Wind Channel Tunnel. Uh, we are currently trying to upgrade this piece by piece, learn about wind tunnels and laminar flow so that one day uh, we can put really cool, crazy, oh, really kind of cool, random, crazy stuff in there like this. And so today, yeah, boy, we are gonna be focusing on this back part where the fan is. I don't love the tape. I hate the tape. So trying to replace that with uh, some 3D printing stuff. Currently, what we have is that the flow of air is, is nice and smooth and laminar up until this point. That is exactly where we wanna put our, uh, our models or whatever we wanna put in here. So want to reprint, not reprint, make this better. I hate the tape. The tape needs to go away. And so that's kind of what we're gonna be working on. So the first thing I need to do, get all this mess taken apart. This part right here was one of the, uh, one of the things that I've seen a lot of wind tunnels on YouTube do. And so I thought, I thought it necessary. Um, and it worked okay. It's just made, this, the first one was just made out of um, poster board and kind of hot glued together. However, since I made it in the beginning of summer, it basically melted. Then I came up with this idea and have just been trying to experiment with making it better and better. There's no going back now. This is what we were after. This is a variable speed computer fan. I need to clean up these sides a little bit because I wanna figure out how I can make it just look all the better. Here's kind of my plan for how I think this is gonna work. The fan blows this direction. Now, ow, 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 ow. Oh, that fan hurt. Ow. If we move the fan closer to the center, right here, does it uh, give us the same effect as on this side? Meaning that when we have the smoke going through here, if the fan is closer, will it actually kind of carry it across through the middle? I'm not really sure, uh, but I am very interested to find out. So what I want to do, equidistant from the ground to the outside, kind of like over, over this whole thing, four pieces. So one here, where one will be in this corner, the other one will be in this corner, this corner, in this corner. And we're gonna see if that fixes it or if I have to go back to the drawing board. I have no idea. I have zero degrees in engineering or uh, aeronautics or anything fancy like that. I have a general studies degree, uh, which basically means I have a degree. After fighting with Outlook yesterday and reading through the comments on the last video, I had an idea that I think might be a stroke of genius. So one of the things that kept popping up in the, in the comments from the previous video is how there's turbulence from the flan, fan blades. So when these rotate, it's, it's making the air turbulent because it's having to, to cut the air to pull it through. And I agree that that probably happens. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just experimenting. One of the ideas, a bladeless fan. So my thought, my wheels got turning. What if we take the fan, make it a bladeless fan like a Dyson fan, and then use that opening as the fan suction system to be able to pull the air through the tunnel. So if we make a bladeless fan, that should make, in my head, it should make the air flow more laminar already, which could help. And so I'm gonna pivot the idea that I had and go go for broke. I think this is a higher risk, but honestly easier because the there's there's a lot of 3D prints uh, available online for bladeless fans. So we're gonna print it and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. This is what we're working with. Let's see, let's see if it actually works. That goes there. This goes here, and this goes like this. Some of these things I don't actually know what they're for. This is a static pressure booster, is what it calls is called? I don't know what that means. Then that goes here. We need some glue. That goes here. This goes like that. Put on oh, now. Let's see if we can figure out how this works. Now, oh yeah, it's all one piece. I want to test this to see if it actually does help with the laminar flow. I think we may just put it in the wind tunnel. Let's see what happens. Okay. 
kind of nervous. Fan on, comes the smoke. Okay, turn the fan up more. Move the smoke up a little bit. Huh. Interesting. That I don't think tells me anything. Let's uh let's take it out, test it. The inlet from the smoke machine is about a foot away. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go right after the click, just minimum and Got the fan on, feeling it a little bit. Smoke machine on. Let's see if it pulls it through. Okay. So from a foot away, with no chamber, it doesn't even have the enough power it needs. So we're gonna go halfway. Okay. So it seems to be getting recycled through there, but I mean, I think the idea kind of works. So it seems to be definitely less choppy than if we just had the fan, which I'm pretty excited about. Let's see if we can observe anything inside the wind tunnel. Then position this guy. Okay, fog on, fan at minimum speed. Here we go. Okay, nothing. Just fill in the chamber. We're at 25%. Okay, it's starting to pull some through. Halfway. Okay, so there is not enough. There's not enough suction. Pull it all the way through uh, just like that. I have one more idea to see if we can make this concept work. Or if the concept works, then we're gonna kind of keep going down this rabbit hole because uh, I think this is fun. So my plan is just to cover this with tape for, for a little bit. So that way we can see, hopefully provide more suction to the, to the fan to get this concept um, in a real life scenario. I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, if you have any ideas, I kind of like the idea of this of using the bladeless fan for the wind tunnel but I don't know if it's like actually gonna work or if my idea and hypothesis is wrong. Um, but yeah, if you have any ideas of how to make this, this thing better, please let me know in the comments, man. Okay, let's, let's try it again and see if that helped any. Somehow, Somehow I forgot a pressure cord when I learned the most pivotal part about this fan uh, that makes it not work for this wind tunnel. And I learned that the wind, the air, is being pulled through the bottom of this fan and pushed out the top and uh, pushed out through this part. Now you may be like, that's incredibly obvious. I could have told you that from the beginning. Uh, here's the deal. I have no engineering training. And so I didn't see it until I literally had it right here and I said, Oh, it all makes sense now. Um, but that's what's really fun about this video format is that I get to try a bunch of different things and I get to learn it for myself. And I get to learn why this fun concept doesn't work and I get to try and try and try again. We're gonna go back to the original idea of putting the fan right here and uh, closing off the rest of this to see if this works. That's what we're gonna try next. We're gonna see if there's any problems with it. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think is best and ultimately what you think we should put in this wind tunnel. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.